Disclaimer, this is not a top worst Smash characters. It is just a list covering my personal least favorites. Factors that will dictate a character's spot on this list will include how non-viable their movesets are, how awful I am at using them, how much misery I am put through when playing as them, how much fun I have watching them being used by top level players, and how well they do when compared to the other characters in their respective title. On with the video. The title says it all, so let's get on with it. Actually, I will say this. Some of the characters on this list will be here based on their appearance from a certain Smash title. For example, let's say I hate Mario from Melee, but love using him in Brawl 64 and Smash 4. I would only talk about Mario's appearance in Melee rather than just Mario as a whole because I like using him in three of the four games. This will be more applicable for my favorite Smash characters list, but there are a couple characters on this list I only hate from a specific game. I'm also not some super competitive player, so don't expect me to know everything a competitive player would. I just play these games for fun. And if you like any of the characters featured on this list, good for you. This is all my personal opinion. Write down some of your most hated characters in the comments, I'd love to read about them. Now let's get on with the list. I know the title says 10 characters I hate, but for number 10, I don't hate this character that much, but I needed someone for the number 10 spot to please my OCPD. So I decided to go with Ness. When it comes to Ness, most people hold a grudge against his Smash 4 portrayal for being extremely annoying to fight. And while I definitely see why people feel that way, I hate playing as Ness more than fighting Ness. Now as long as I'm on stage, I can play him just fine, but throw me off the stage, I'm toast 9 times out of 10 because I can't use his recovery. I'll give it points for being different, but I still hate it. I am a tad better with his recovery in Smash 4 when compared to the other games in the series though. The reason why Lucas isn't sharing this spot with Ness, consider him an honorable mention, is because his recovery goes much farther than Ness's does, giving me a higher chance of actually making it back on stage. I guess I'll tackle the he's annoying or he's spammy complaint. Is he annoying? Yes. But how can someone not be annoying with Ness? In my opinion, Ness's overall moveset isn't the greatest. His throws and aerials are fine, but let's take a look at his specials. How many of them are reliable? You'd probably suggest all of them if you're some top tier competitive player, but in my eyes, the only one that is useful is PK Fire. Nobody uses PK Flash and whatever this thing is because they are either too situational or slow and predictable. I have seen Ness players use PK Hover, however, but that move is pretty easy to dodge. Up Smash and Down Smash are also pretty bad. So yeah, Ness is annoying, but he's very limited. So I'm not super bothered when I have to fight one. I still hate playing as him though. The entire roster presented to us in Smash 64 is pretty good. While some characters are definitely better than others, I can see all of these guys doing very well in a competitive format. All except for Link. Alright, he isn't the worst thing in the world, and I'm sure there have been tons of great Link players when it comes to Smash 64, but I think he is definitely the worst of the original 12. His first and most glaring flaw is his recovery. It's terrible. If you are thrown off a stage like Dreamland, you're done for, which also happens to be the one competitively legal stage in the game. So good luck to any aspiring Smash 64 Link players. Second are his specials. For some reason his bombs don't always explode on impact, turning them into items that anyone can pick up and throw back at Link. I know it depends on how hard you're tilting the analog stick, but that's still a stupid mechanic. He also lacks a bow for some reason. You know, one of Link's most iconic items? Especially with the adult Link from Ocarina of Time that this Link is based on. I think edgeguarding other characters would be a lot easier if he had the bow equipped, rather than that stupid boomerang that is never useful, ever. Luckily, Link has gotten much better. At number 8, I have a character that I just don't have a ton of fun playing. She's a good character, and I know of some people that are capable of using her to her fullest potential, but I just find her incredibly boring and forgettable. 
The character I am referring to is Zero Suit Samus. She is an absurdly broken, annoying to fight, or even that hard of a character to pick up for the first time. She just doesn't fit my playstyle, I guess. I don't know. I can see why people enjoy using her. She's fast, she can stun foes to start combo strings, and she has some moves that are very satisfying to pull off in certain situations. I just don't find her that engaging. And I don't really know why, because I like a lot of other fast characters with fun moves. And to be honest, I wouldn't even care if she isn't present in the next Smash game. That would really hurt the Metroid representatives though, so it's not a good idea. That and she has a ton of loyal fans that I probably just pissed off, but whatever. I just don't care for her. It's just that simple. That and I'm terrible with her. Like, really bad with her. Next up is a character I'd describe as having lost potential. No, not Ganondorf. Though it would be cool if they gave him a moveset that coincides with the Zelda games. I'm instead referring to Zelda. When it was revealed that Zelda and Sheik would be separate characters in Smash 4, I was ecstatic. Finally, Sheik will actually have a good down B. And on the flip side, the game devs might actually buff Zelda. Nope. Zelda has stayed relatively the same ever since her debut in Melee. And while that's how it is with pretty much every character in Smash, I think it's time for Zelda to get an overhaul. Unlike Ganondorf though, this is how she is portrayed in her own series. But I wouldn't complain if they made her fight like she does in Hyrule Warriors, but I digress. What do I not like about the Zelda we actually have? She's slow, her Din's Fire and Shadow Knight moves are super predictable, three of her aerials require a sweet spot like with Captain Falcon's knee, and she's just really bland both to play and to watch. I never have fun watching someone play Zelda, unlike Captain Falcon, Donkey Kong, and just about every other character on the roster. And watching a Zelda Ditto is the worst. It's like watching a frog stare at a banana, which I'd assume is pretty boring. The Pokemon Trainer is a very interesting concept. You get to have three fighters in one, with all of the fighters being vastly different. Too bad it was executed poorly, as if it could have been executed well at all. First gripe, you are forced to switch to the next Pokemon every time you die. I get that the intention was to mirror the actual Pokemon games, where if a Pokemon faints you have to switch to the next one, but that's just so inconvenient. Unless you actually want to invest time into learning three separate characters. If not, you'll have to find the right moment to switch to the Pokemon you are good with. And another thing is the Pokemon themselves get weaker the longer they're out of their Pokeballs, decreasing the knockback with their attacks while also making it to where they can die earlier. Now who's the jackass that thought that was a good idea? That mechanic forces you to switch during your rampage so you can avoid dying at like 80%. Last gripe is that Ivysaur and Squirtle aren't very good. Especially Ivysaur, just look at these moves. Why would anyone use either of these Pokemon in Brawl? Thankfully, the Pokemon Trainer was replaced with Charizard. Thank God. And this is just a nitpick, but I hate the Pokemon Trainer's voice. You did it, Charizard! For a while, I didn't want to consider this character the worst character in all of Smash Bros. Maybe to be hip or different or some stupid shit like that. Now, I will admit that this character is undoubtedly the worst character, on a technical level, in all of Smash history. That character is Pichu. The fact that I said Pichu is the worst character on a technical level probably doesn't surprise anyone. He hurts himself when he attacks, he's super light, and his attacks don't deal exponential amounts of damage. Seriously? 4%? He's complete crap. The reason why he's only at number 5 is because I actually find him kind of fun to play. Well, he's obviously not my favorite character ever, hence why he's on the list, but I find it funny when I'm actually able to beat someone with him. He's also incredibly fast, and not all of his moves hurt him, so he isn't completely unusable, he's just partially unusable. Alright, numbers 9 through 5 are characters that I can somewhat tolerate while still annoying the hell out of me. Now we delve into the characters that I really hate. Starting with the definition of nuisance, Sonic the Hedgehog. 
I'm going to start by saying that I don't really play as Sonic because I don't really like his playstyle. To play as Sonic, you have to run in, do a couple hits, then run away. Then run in, do a couple hits, then run away. Then run in, do a couple hits, and you get the point. The reason why I despise Sonic is because I hate fighting him. All everyone does with Sonic is either run away from you, or just run around the map because the player can't handle the speed. I especially hate fighting people who are good with Sonic, because they do the same tactic as a novice Sonic player, but they never mess up. And I understand that this is the way Sonic should be played, but it just drives me up a wall. My next pick might provoke some mixed feelings for the people within the Smash community, but I don't really know. I guess people of the Smash community have this sheer disdain for this particular character, while others don't because, well, I don't really care. Number three on my list is Bayonetta. Now I don't think she should be taken out of the supposed Smash on Nintendo Switch, or banned from a bunch of high level tournaments, but I definitely hate her guts. First reason, I cannot play as Bayonetta at all. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if she's my worst character. So to the people who can actually do all this crazy shit, good job. Second reason, I have absolutely no fun when playing against her because of her insane combos and witch time because you can't do anything. You just have to sit there and take all of her nonsensical moves up the ass. Third reason, actually there isn't a third reason. I'll say this though, I do like watching people do crazy stuff with Bayonetta, especially when they pull off witch time. Which isn't really fair. I hate it when Bayonetta does all that crazy shit to me, but I like it whenever it's being done to someone else. Yeah, whatever. Moving on. Number two might shock a lot of you. Maybe not the fact that he's on the list, but this high? You guys will definitely have some questions. Number two is Bowser, but only his portrayal in Melee and Brawl. I absolutely love the Bowser Sakurai I gave to us in Smash 4, but it sucks that it took two giant hurdles to get there. And I mean that literally. Bowser is fucking huge in these two games, thus making him easy combo food. He's also very slow, kind of like a tank. Actually, yeah, Bowser is the tank of Smash Bros. He's really big, slow, and packs a punch, which is awful for a game like Melee that is filled to the brim with insanely fast characters with stupidly fast moves. If Bowser were to go up against Fox, he'd get demolished because he just can't react. And if Bowser is given the chance to strike, Fox will normally have a window of opportunity because of Bowser's moves taking goddamn forever to dish out. The only thing I like about Bowser in Melee is his side B. It's so much fun just throwing everyone across the stage. Sucks that they got rid of that in Brawl. And just replace Fox with Meta Knight in that little example I gave, and you'll see that it's the same scenario. Or you can just replace Fox in the example with literally any character because Bowser just doesn't stand a chance against anyone. Also, what the hell is this? And this? And this? Bowser is the prime example of an aggravating character to use within the Smash Bros. franchise. He's slow, his moves are awful, and you're going to get the shit kicked out of you every time you use him. Every character before this one had at least one thing I liked about them. Whether it be a fun move, satisfaction of doing well, or watching much better players destroy an opponent. For this character, there is not one thing I like about him. So I have to ask, why exactly do people like Olimar? I know that he's not the most popular Smash character, but I've met people who genuinely like playing as Olimar. Do people like the different effects that his Pikmin can give to the opponent? Do people like how unique he is when compared to the other Smash characters? Do people like glancing at the Pikmin next in line and then trying to come up with a strategy instantly? Or do people just like throwing these damn leeches at their opponent? I really don't get it. And to any of the Olimar mains that might be watching this video, comment below with the reason why you like Olimar. Because I can't stand him. It isn't that I find him hard to fight. He's just incredibly obnoxious to fight. Every Olimar I've ever come across whether it be online, in a tournament, or just casual smash with friends, play Olimar the same exact way. They just throw in endless supplies of these stupid life-sucking leeches and run away. I get that's his gimmick, but it just annoys the hell out of me. And I always hear people say he takes a lot of wits and strategy to play. Well, I'd believe that if I ever see an Olimar sort his Pikmin for a setup, but I don't. 
they just blindly throw out whichever Pikmin is next in line. I also find playing as him incredibly boring. His moveset is like any other Smash character, but with an added effect given to the opponent, i.e. fire, electricity, etc. And while that is different, I still find it uninspired. And I don't think he's as unique as other people say he is. His gimmick is throwing Pikmin, which is like Link throwing his items. Or you can just turn on the dreaded items to make everyone do what Olimar does. Characters like Ryu, Bayonetta, and Rosalina are unique. Olimar is just a little different. I don't know what I would do differently because I haven't played a Pikmin game, but I'm sure they could have done more. If you love using Olimar, that's fine. I don't hate people who use him. Hell, I don't even hate the character of Olimar. I just dislike his detestable gimmick of throwing an endless barrage of leeches. Yes, that's what I call them. Well, that's the end of the video. Know of any characters that you can't stand? I'm sure you do. So leave them in the comment section below along with your thoughts on my picks. If you like watching videos created by some rambling doofus, then subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. I'm also going to start streaming some games on Twitch, so if you'd like to check that out, head over there. Well, that's it. See you next time. Well, that's it. Know of any characters that you can't stand? Ah, I bit my fucking tongue. Ah!